Hi everyone, this is Ramesh from Informatica. Uh, this video is about to show you how to insert regarding object ID column in MSDS CRM entity using Power Exchange for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So as said, the agenda is to show a quick demonstration on how to insert the or how to populate regarding object ID field in CRM entity using Power Exchange for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. The regarding object ID field is a property of CRM entity that gets or sets the ID for the respective associated entity. For example, the entities like phone call, email, uh, appointment, activity pointer, etc. have regarding object ID column in its definition that associate these entities with the other CRM objects like account, contact, campaign, etc. So, for example, the account object in CRM can have phone call information, email information, or appointment information, and so forth. So, <coughs> how does uh, these entities like phone call, email, appointment associate itself with these uh, objects like account, contact, campaign? They associate it with the something called regarding object ID column or is that regarding object ID field using which it knows that the this data in the phone column uh, phone call entity refers to account or contact or campaign etc similarly uh, same thing for the email or appointment or activity pointer so <coughs> while populating this field using power center um, we might see this exception in the session log that says that record rejected while inserting into CRM because the attribute regarding object type code must not be null if attribute regarding object ID is not null. So on the first look of this uh, error, you might you, you may feel that uh, it might seem that the re regarding object ID type code is a not null column and probably we're trying to insert a null data uh, and that's why it's giving this exception but that's not the real problem uh, let me show you a quick demonstration on the issue and how do we resolve it all right so this is the mapping I'm, I'll be using for this demonstration purpose I got a source here which is a flat file an expression and the target is a CRM entity target which is an appointment entity here I'm trying to populate it so uh, if you see here, uh, I'm trying to populate for the schedule and and schedule start column, which is the start and end time for the any appointment, uh, and f and then the third field I'm trying to populate here is a regarding object ID. So regarding object ID, as I said earlier in my video, that this is the field which will associate the records in the appointment entity uh, for which type of entity does this appointment refers to for example or which type of object does this record in appointment refers to for example is this appointment for an account is this appointment for a contact or campaign or something else right all right so um, let's see the the values that I have uh, trying to populate here is for regarding object ID this is a number this is a value that I queried in the back end uh, in real scenario you might be getting this value coming in from the source so stable but just to uh, uh, make this demonstration easier I just uh, uh, queried the database and trying to populate this field so this value is for uh, if this value is for uh, this is nothing but uh, account ID so uh, I'm trying to create a recording appointment entity uh, uh, for account object in CRM so uh, I got this value uh, this value is nothing but the account ID uh, uh, so <coughs> when I when we run this mapping the expectation is it should create a record in appointment table saying that um, with whatever start schedule start and end time along with the uh, the regarding object ID saying that uh, uh, the, this field should get populated with this account ID value. All right. Um, 
before we run this session a mapping let me show you if I have to uh, do the same same or if I have to achieve the same functionality through a CRM front-end application how do I do that so <clears throat> just to make sure that um, to show you the process like how someone can do it through a front-end application and then same thing I'm trying to we are trying to achieve it using power center so for example uh, this is the URL this is the UI uh, for uh, uh, to access the CRM or to modify any entity or any record this is the UI so um, if I click here the service field and then so it will show me these entities uh, or these activities I can do it so one of the among them is appointments let me click this appointment this will pop another window with an applic <coughs> so here we have to fill in the what is the subject for this appointment where is the location uh, and it, look for it here you see there is something called regarding right this is the logical name here regarding but this actually refers to the regarding object ID field in for an appointment entity in the back end so if you see here this is an appointment right so this is the appointment entity I'm trying to create uh, I'm trying to create a record on appointment entity so when I when I enter here let's say the test or here let's say the regarding so regarding as uh, um, uh, as we see here it is a lookup field so here you click it here and now we can go and associate that this appointment is for which object for example here the first one is account I can go and change or have any for example can contact right I can select contact and then I can go and associate this um, user or this contact with uh, uh, with the appointment entity right so here for this demo I'm trying to uh, create a recording appointment for this account so I go and select this account which is a Disney here and say okay here now I can go save and close if I do a save and close it's going to insert a record in an appointment table in CRM f uh, for this account called Disney so he, this is in the UI how you can do it now backend this regarding refers to nothing but the regarding object ID field in appointment entity and this is the account name here in the designer in the power center mapping instead of giving the account name I have to give the account ID uh, and that's how it will associate that this account ID is referring to this regarding object ID okay so if I run this mapping my expectation is it should insert a record in appointment entity uh, with this regarding object ID uh, attribute so let me go ahead and see how many records the appointment has right now it's 15 record right if I 14 record sorry if I run this mapping I'm expecting that it should create a new record in this appointment table with regarding object type uh, with regarding object ID pointing to account uh, account ID so here is let's run this workflow start workflow session is running all right so the session completed now but if I look it into here if I see here I see that applied row is one uh, the rejected row is one affected row is zero so it seems like the record got rejected um, let's open the session log and see what the session log say so the session log here is if I highlight it it's saying that record rejected into CRM failed to create attribute regarding object type code must not be null if attribute regarding is not null uh, from the error it seems that the regarding object type code is another field in appointment and uh, maybe we are not uh, populating this field so might be it's defaulting to null and this might be why the regarding object ID uh, field is or the record is getting rejected so let's go ahead and populate this field as well so let me get this 
copy this column and create in an expression I'll just hard code it into with a new uh, with a not null value and my expectation is that at least now this should not complain with the error I put it not null value right it's one so let me save this mapping now uh, go ahead and refresh the workflow uh, refresh the mapping save it let me start the workflow again all right let's close this one okay the session is running still all right the session has succe uh, succe succeeded now but if i see here i still see it uh, that uh, affected applied row is one but affected row is zero which means this row, row got rejected uh, so let's see let me open the session log again and see is it a different exception or is it the same so <coughs> All right. So this is the error. I see that we see that the error is still the same. So in spite of attribute regarding object type is not null, which we see that we are trying to populate this field with a not null value, which is one. Still, it's complaining that this must be must not be null. So there's something else here, right? So now how do we fix it? All right. So if I have to do this activity from a CRM front end, right? I just showed you how can we do that. We just go ahead, create an appointment. Then um, when it prompts for the regarding field, we just do a lookup and select whether it's account or whatever, right? Now, in power center mapping, when you try to populate with this regarding object ID with the uh, account ID or contact ID or whatever is a unique identifier for that particular object it doesn't um, it doesn't understand that so what we have to do here is to make it work make sure that we we append we append the logical name of the entity for which the value belongs to for example this value here is nothing but the account ID right account ID so I have to go here and say account colon so now while inserting it it will understand the CRM will understand that this value is for the account type object and then it will try to refer is it a valid account ID if so it will go and insert a record in appointment if not you may get an error saying that invalid account ID similarly let's say if it's a value for a contact so then we got to figure out we got to find what is the unique ID for a given account and then we here say uh, sorry, we have to find a unique uh, value for a contact and then we have to say contact colon whatever then value for the uh, unique ID for contact information. Similarly, if it's campaign, we have to say campaign colon whatever the unique value or unique ID value for the campaign entity. Um, so in nutshell, we need to make sure that we just, just not give the actual value of the object be it account contact or campaign but we have to associate the logical name as well before the value so that while inserting it into the target the CRM can understand that this value refers to uh, uh, or this value associate with a particular object in CRM right so now let's run this mapping and see if this value is getting populated in the appointment entity so I just saved it let me refresh this workflow or refresh this mapping save it let me rerun the workflow so mapping is running all right so now we see that the session has completed now applied row is one affected row is one rejected row is zero so that means it the record has a new record has got inserted into the appointment entity so if I query this appointment table, earlier it was 14 rows, right? Let me just go ahead and read on the same query. So now I see that now we see that it's a 15 record. So there is one new more record got created in the appointment entity. So that was a, uh, a, a quick. Uh, I wanted to demonstrate on like how we can make sure that regarding object ID is getting populated correctly in CRM. I hope uh, you learned something. Uh, Please send your send send back your feedback to support videos at informatica.com or you can tweet us at twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you.
thank you for watching video thank you